Yo, 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 what's up, family? Before we start the video, please give a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can. Just swing it out there a little bit more. With that being said, let's get right into the video. The Boston Celtics came out of a game one overtime thriller with a miraculous 133-128 win against the Indiana Pacers. We got good performances from multiple Celtics, but Drew Holiday shine in this one, and I need to take a deeper look. So let's get into the film. All right, how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing good. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, make sure you take your shoes off before you come to the house. And Drew Holiday, again in this game, a great game from drew and i said in the last video i did on drew in our last round that that was his best game as a celtic no he, he just topped that today was his well yesterday was his best game 28 points seven rebounds five offensive rebounds eight assists and three steals and he made so many big plays down the stretch and here he got it started off with a three in the corner and at the beginning of the game, again, I said he had eight assists. Drew Holiday really got his teammates going. The Celtics played with pace um, in this first 12-0 run. And he made a couple kick ahead passes that uh, led to buckets for his teammates here with D. White. Then after May basket, you're going to see him peek his head up right there. And he's going to look. He doesn't see anybody yet. But then he's going to look up again. He sees Tatum. And again, they just push the pace. And they match the Pacers flow at the beginning of this game. And here again, we got another great decision by Drew. Here's Al Horford locking down Pascal Siakam. He forced the turnover. We get in transition. And he leaves it for the trailer, who is Payne Pritchard for the wing three. And Drew's effort was also just something that stood out in this game. He was able to stay in the gap for Halliburton to help with Tatum. And then he goes out to contest on the Nimhard 3. And something I said in my preview, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it somewhere where you can just click on it and watch that. But I said that, you know, the, the Pacers don't have a lot of technically sound defenders, right? Aaron Neesmith is the guy they usually put on the opposing team's best wing because he's the most athletic. He has good size and he does a lot of things off of sheer hustle and sheer will. And that's good, but he is very reckless as he fouled out in this game. And probably the worst defender of this bunch is Tyrese Halliburton. And when I was doing the preview, I was like, hey, who is he going to start out on? And he was on Drew a lot. And I was like, hey, could this be an effective Drew Holiday post-up series with Drew Holiday on him? And here you're going to see him after he contests this shot. He just goes out and runs and he sees Halliburton's the only one down right here. So he just immediately posts up, moves Tyrese Halliburton to where he wants him to be deeper into the basket and he puts him in the bucket and then here of course just a Swiss army knife ability of Drew Holiday on the defensive side of the ball can guard anybody on the Pacers to be honest with you uh Siakam is a tough matchup for our guys for sure and Drew too but he was able to uh move Siakam off of the position in here and get the turnover and then here we got a little shake action by the Celtics. They do a pick and roll at the free throw line for Jalen Brown. And as Luke Cornett rolls, the tag man is Siakam and he has a two on one. So he has to pick between guarding the roller, who is Luke Cornett, and coming out to the three, which is Drew Holiday. Drew, he lifts up slightly from the corner, which initiates the shake action in a pick and roll because if Siakam picks up on Luke, which he does, he's up here and not in the corner where Siakam can just make a straight line closeout. So he comes up just a little bit and he hits the three and again drew hard they had 28 points in this game sometimes you just need to pull up and bang in the three and this is some of what the celtics have to do when they get a tyrese halliburton matchup again i said it in my preview this could be a very effective post uh, up series for Drew Holiday, if he gets Halliburton on him, Halliburton is taller than Drew, but he's just not strong enough. He's frail. And Drew Holiday is literally telling people to clear out because he has Tyrese Halliburton on him. And then he goes to work and he gets fouled. And here on the defensive side, he stays on Halliburton's hip. He's He has him all the way out to half court, but he stays on his hip the entire time. Uh, peels over to Aaron Neesmith and draws a charge. And he is just a seamless fit next to our wings, our primary scores in Tatum and Brown because he has excelled as a three-point shooter this year, um, going up to about 42%. And in these corners, I believe there's a time where he was the best corner shooter in NBA history for a season. He was shooting about 65%. They bring Siakam to help Tyrese Halliburton because, again, that is a mismatch and that makes a lot of open things for the Celtics and Drew hits the three. And a lot of times that I've talked about Drew posting up has been against Halliburton, but Drew is strong enough, like, I've seen Drew post up Evan Mobley. Like, I've seen Drew put his shoulder into Tristan Thompson, and he goes back a couple feet. Like, he can post up almost anybody on this team. Probably, I don't want him posting up Turner or Siakam. But as far as the Pacers guards, like Nimhard or here, which is Shepard or TJ McConnell, 
he can go at these guys just use his brute strength and his skill in the post this video is brought to you by prize picks prize picks is america's number one fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members it is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players you just pick more or less on two or more player stats and watch the winners roll in download the app today and use the code clns for a first deposit match up to 100 dollars prize picks is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country including california texas and georgia prize picks even offers injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, prospects will have your back and not count that as a loss. Personally, I've been using prospects for about two years and I've won a pretty penny in that span. I only do NBA and NFL, but you guys are probably more versatile than I am. Once again, download the app today and use the code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less, it's that easy. And then here against Ben Shepard, the drive, just too strong to be knocked off his line. The contact does not even effective in this, affect him in the slightest. Sorry, right there, he puts his body into Ben Shepard, not allowing him to go straight up and block this shot, and he gets a layup. And again, any of these Pacers guards, Drew Hardy can just straight up body, get to the rim and get to his poster back. Here, we got him against TJ McConnell. TJ McConnell is, I think the best Pacers perimeter defender, but again, he's just too small to actually guard anybody on this Celtics roster, probably other than Pritchard. Um, but he was also giving him some tough times. And I talked about him putting that shoulder into bigger people, but here against TJ McConnell, who was smaller than him, you're going to see him put that shoulder into him. He's going to fall back right there. And that allows him to get the space he needs. He missed the shot, but he goes right back up for the offensive rebound. And on this play, let's just admire Drew Holiday for 24 seconds playing decent on Tyrese Halliburton. He picks him up above half court. The anticipation of him rejecting the screen, Drew Holiday stays right on the ship after that. He passes the ball off. Siakam does a little bit of nothing for some time here. Gets it back to Tyrese Halliburton. Then Drew just harasses him, makes him pick up his dribble, and he passes it to Miles Turner, who just shoots a desperation three at the end of the clock. And the most memorable Drew play from this game for me, him picking up Drew Holiday again, full court, and on these hesitations that Halliburton is doing, Drew is just going closer to his body. And again, Drew Shrimp does not only play in on offense. He is a really strong defender and him putting his hands on you, it can suffocate a frail guard like Tyrese Halliburton. And he just falls out of bounds all into the table in a turnover. And here to seal the game for the Celtics, Drew makes a couple of nice plays here. He gets the ball in a tough position, gets double teamed by the Pacers, just throws it off of Tyrese Halliburton to give us another possession. Then we're going to fast forward to the next play. He gets it in a better position. He makes the quick decision to pass the D.Y. for the cut and for the layup. But that is the video. If you enjoyed it, please give a like, subscribe, and share to any and everyone that you can. Just to get out there a little bit more. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Stay tuned to the channel. But this is Nick. Peace.